A reactor at Exelon's Byron nuclear generating station shut down today after losing power. Tonight, authorities say there is no danger. Backup generators kicked in immediately when the reactor shut down and those generators began cooling the plant. Good evening, everyone. Tonight, Exelon engineers are trying to figure out what caused the shutdown. The Byron nuclear facility is about 95 miles west of Chicago. It's in Ogle County. ABC 7's Sarah Schulte is joining us live from Byron with the latest on that development story tonight. Sarah? Well, Alan, I just talked to a spokesperson from Exelon, and while investigators have been here all day trying to figure out a cause, they do they say they are almost 100% positive that the cause is an electrical problem with an on-site switchyard. And again, at no time during any of this was there any danger to employees or residents here in the area. The Nuclear Regulatory Commission defined this as an unusual event, saying it is the latest of four emergency classifications. Shortly before 10.30 this morning, backup generators kicked into gear when Unit 2 shut down after losing power. Some employees did see some smoke at an on-site transformer, but there was no evidence of a fire. Regardless, the fire department was called. The NRC is releasing steam from the plant right now to help with the cooling process, and that is the sound that you actually hear in the background here. The steam does carry very low levels of radioactivity. There are normal releases that we allow, and this is an abnormal, abnormal release, but it's still far below um, any limits that we have. It's not unusual to lose off-site power. Um, I don't know if we've had this situation before, but uh, nuclear power plants especially plan for loss of off-site power, so it's not uncommon for it to happen to plants in the country. Uh, we prepare for it all the time in a room like this with our control room simulator, so it's something we do uh, train for. Five years ago here is the last time that Byron had some problems when their power did shut down. And when Unit 2 is going to be back up again, running normally, they say it's probably, they're not too sure. They do have to fix that on-site switch problem, the electrical problem with the on-site switch problem. But again, Unit 2 will continue to run on diesel power. And again, that sound that you hear behind me is some steam that is being released. Live in Byron, Sarah Schulte, ABC 7 News. Kathy Allen, back to you. All right, Sarah. Thank you. We'll continue to watch that story, of course, tonight. At least 10